at nine from our You Paid For It team, big changes after fears of fraud. $37 million in federal pandemic relief or ARPA funds have been set aside to help North St. Louis. Fox Files' uh, Andy Banker reports that there is new hope that these changes will pay off for St. Louis kids. From the street, you'd never know about the magic happening inside this building. Young people's lives being transformed in a boxing gym. It might seem to be the perfect place for the city to invest in through the ARPA grant funding program, but this place got rejected, while other questionable applicants got approved. These are going to be the different offices. Reggie Williams applied for at least $100,000 to help reach more kids. This police athletic league program has always been about more than boxing. The walls here covered with success stories, success measured beyond the ring. You should see the excitement these kids have when they come in and say, Coach, this year, this week I got A's. I got all A's. Just happened yesterday. And it, and it, bring, it warms your heart and brings tears to the eyes to see these kids excited, to see that they can achieve something only with encouragement. That's why we want to expand to other sports to grab other kids in with the soccer, baseball, chess club. The St. Louis Development Corporation, or SLDC, has awarded grants to 437 businesses and nonprofits so far. St. Louis Comptroller Darlene Green and multiple aldermen have raised concerns about grants going to apparently empty buildings with unpaid property taxes. SLDC staff will now visit each awardee on the list before any money goes out. They're saying we're going to visit all these sites. We're going to make sure that we do what we need to be doing. I feel good about that. So we can show the businesses, the non-for-profits, all these people, you know what, we had a hiccup. And now we're going to address it and fix it. And then they told me, Mr. Williams, wait, wait, we pulled all those applications back and we're excited to inform you that you've been reconsidered. He's also learned the club has already been awarded $12,500 with hopefully more coming. If they didn't give me one penny, it's not going to stop anything. We're going to still get it done. Sounds like something one of his kids might say. For You Paid For It, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.